Hello, welcome to my software update video for the Pine Phone. Uh, today's date is July 31st, 2022. If you see date on here, it's wrong. This is a couple days behind. Uh, so this is kind of building upon my last video, uh, which I put out on December 15th of 2021. And in that video, I said you could probably daily drive the Pine Phone at this point. So I did just that for the past couple months. And I have to say, I might be a little bit wrong, at least for somebody like me. Um, and I'll explain that. So right here, I have KDE Plasma installed. Uh, this is Manjaro. And there's a few things that have changed since the last version. Uh, if I just open up the settings here, and I think I have another app open. The app switcher has changed. I'm pretty sure it's changed since last time. This is more like, I think, how Android used to do it versus how they do it now. But that's not really a big deal. There are a couple problems with KDE, and I'll touch on those real quick. The problems with KDE, I've noticed, is in a phone call, uh, when you go to answer it, um, it doesn't always work, and you need to have the phone unlocked. And on the phone call, the screen doesn't like turning off with the proximity sensor. So you can touch buttons on your phone, which you shouldn't normally be able to do. Um, I also don't seem to always get the phone calls with KDE. It seems really flaky and not good. And then the other thing is with the uh, lock screen, for some reason, sometimes the lock screen likes breaking or it just crashes and it will dump you into a terminal. So you need to either pull the battery out to restart the phone or just hold the power button down for a long time and restart the phone. That's super, super annoying. And you can't really use a phone like that in my opinion. Now what I will say about KDE is the text messaging seems to be reliable. Um, there's still no location option, even though I don't have a SIM card in here. That's what it does when I have a SIM card in here with data. Um, and then also just another quick thing, if you use text messaging on KDE and you want to receive or send pictures, you need to enter the APN information. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Uh, the web browser seems all right. It's fine. The software feels pretty smooth, fairly well polished. It feels like a, a, a good piece of beta software, not complete. It feels like a beta software, but a pretty good one. All right, now I'll get over into uh, Fosh, even though I don't have it installed. And I think Fosh still kind of sucks, but that's just my opinion. I don't like the user interface. I think it feels more like an alpha software. It feels really clunky and just not good. But what I will say about it is the phone calls are reliable, at least. Um, and I was using Manjaro. That's what I was daily driving. Um, I was Manjaro Fosh, if I didn't say that already. Um, and the calls work fine, minus sometimes when you hang up a call, it doesn't set the speaker back to that main one. If you can hear it, it'll set it to the earpiece. So I missed a few phone calls cause I didn't hear them. Uh, but otherwise it was fine. Um, I mean the sound quality isn't very good, but that's okay. And also the phone likes to get really hot when you're on a phone call, or at least for me, really hot, uncomfortably hot. But, um, I don't know, I guess I just don't like hot phones on my face. <laughs> um, the camera seems to be about the same still, which is, I think, reasonably good. Um, but with Fosh, the text messaging does not work quite right. So it seems like if you want reliable text messaging, from what I've noticed, KDE is the better option. As of this, I don't know, a couple days ago when I actually was using this. And if you need reliable phone calls, Fosh is the better option. Um, I used Fosh more, so I did some web browsing on it, and honestly, it's okay. It's a little slow, but it's okay. And if you ignore text messaging, I think Fosh is actually fine to use. If you ignore phone calls, which I don't know about you, but I have a phone for phone calls, uh, KDE seems to be okay. So I guess kind of pick your poison there. Um, Ubuntu Touch doesn't seem to have been updated, and I can never seem to find like a good source on what OS to use. So hopefully, if you're looking for this, I can somewhat answer that with, if you need reliable phone calls, Fosh worked well in my case, and text messaging KDE worked well in my case. Um, so 
And it's pretty much the extent of that. Not a whole lot else has changed, as far as I'm aware. So, I guess, you know, there's that. I don't know why development is slow, or why these things seem to be backwards, the text messaging and calls, or it should work fine on both. I don't know. I don't know if that's KD and, and uh, Gnome's fault, or whoever runs Fosh, or if it's Majoro or what, but it is what it is. So, yeah, I'm trying to keep this video short. So, hopefully, this information was useful. I guess you can ask questions that I may or may not respond to in a timely fashion in the comments. I will do my best, though. And uh, until right, so, I kind of forgot to put this in the main part of the video, but I'll add it on to the end anyway. It's kind of separate, and that's uh, for those wondering should they get the Pine Phone or what is the best software on the Pine Phone? And I'll answer those both in the same one where it depends, but I'll start with the software more in depth. Uh, for my testing, it was Manjaro. Everyone has a different opinion on that. Which one's best? I think it depends on the carrier. I don't know. Um, but for me, uh, Manjaro is the better option. And I tried all of them. Uh, some, not as recently as others, but... Um, I've run every OS that's available on the wiki. Now, should you get the Pine Phone? Well, it depends. I think if you have two or three hundred dollars and you're looking to replace your main phone, the answer is probably not. I cannot replace my phone, and I do not ask much out of a phone. Um, heck, I'd be fine with a flip phone. <laughs> it, and actually, that's what I was going to upgrade to, but I don't know where I put my old one, so that's something else. Um, I really just care about phone calls and sometimes texting. And I don't actually like texting. It's that people like texting me on occasion, and when they don't get a response on text, they get really angry. And I don't understand that, but it is what it is. So, texting and phone calls I need. Neither OS provides both of them good enough to work for me. So, if you need those, like probably most people do... I say need on a relative basis, right? You don't really need anything but food, water, and shelter, but yeah, whatever. I digress. Um, I would probably recommend picking up a cheap phone instead. This one is probably $20 on a good day. Um, I'm not saying to get this exact phone. I just have it laying around and just using it as an example. But like this phone will reliably make and send phone calls. That's the same thing. Make and receive phone calls, send and receive texts. Uh, Alarm clocks, if you use your phone for that. I would not trust the Pine phone waking up for that, but maybe it's gotten better. Um, and things of that nature. The camera on this is probably also better than on the Pine phone. Um, maybe not hardware-wise. Maybe it is, I don't know. Uh, but software, for sure. Um, and you can pick up a new Android phone, or even a used one, for two to $300, roughly. And you can flash a custom ROM. Um, I would do that, but I don't want to spend any money on a phone right now because I just don't care enough. Um, again, flip phone. Easy solution. But, um, unless you're like a software developer or somebody who just messes around with devices, like a tinker or hack or something like that, I probably wouldn't recommend the Pine phone right now. And that, trust me, that kills me to say that. I'm not saying this like some anti-Pine phone thing. I want it to work so, so bad, but it just doesn't. Um, so, hopefully this helps you come to some decision or conclusion about this sort of thing. Uh, if you have any questions, you can try to ask them in the comments, and I may or may not respond to that, um, because I don't check YouTube a whole lot, so I don't know. I'll try. Anyway, hopefully this information is valuable to somebody and can help them out in some way or another. I will see you in another video. Bye for now.